With high property prices and interest rates, should I rent instead? But rent is also high! Shalom everyone, I'm Julia from Property Jupes, your go-to person for all things property. Please hit the like and subscribe button for property tips. I met a couple who recently got their permanent residency and they shared with me that their tenancy period was ending in a couple of months. But with the climbing interest rates and property prices, they wondered if they should continue to rent instead. They're currently renting a one-bedroom studio unit at $2,500 a month. I did a quick check of the recent transactions of the one-bedroom units in their development and they were transacted at about $3,200 to $3,600 a month. This would imply that during their renewal of their tenancy, they can expect to pay something between that range or even higher. This would be a potential increased cost to them and they have to fork out cash on a monthly basis, lowering their disposable income. They could move out of their current rental unit at the condominium when the lease expires and rent a HDB instead. However, a quick search online showed that even for a three-room flat with two bedrooms, they can expect to pay minimally $3,000 in today's market. Buying a HDB isn't an option either as newly minted PRs. They will only be eligible to purchase a unit from the resale market after they have been PR for a minimum of three years. So the immediate option would be to purchase a resale condominium. Their concern was, is it too risky to buy in today's market? Let's see. The bank's in-principle approval indicated that they were eligible to borrow for a property of up to 1.5 million. However, they only had funds for a property of 1.2 million. Do watch my other video where I share about the importance of getting an IPA. So anyway, let's work out their options. With a property price of 1.2 million, I recommended that they purchase a three-bedroom condominium which is about walking distance to the MRT, five years old and requires minimal to no renovation. They will incur stamp duties of 32,600 and ABSD of 60,000. With an interest rate of 3.5%, the monthly mortgage payments will be approximately 4040. Then, they will also have to pay for MCST fees on a quarterly basis and property tax on a yearly basis. Now that sounds like they will have to incur even more than they were renting, right? Don't panic, keep calm and watch on. They could rent out two of the bedrooms for about 1,300 a month, which will give them a rental income of 2,600 per month. In about four years, they will have incurred about 107,000 in costs after subtracting rental income. They will have incurred about 160,000 of costs in pure cash if they chose to rent during this period instead. By making the choice to purchase a property today and going through the inconvenience of sharing their space instead of renting, they have the chance to use their income to build up capital. They could also use their CPF to pay off their mortgage instead of paying cash to a landlord and helping that landlord pay off his mortgage. Additionally, with a relatively young property in hand, they have the chance to benefit from capital gain. Of course, that will be a bonus. In other words, in four years, as landlords of a three-bedroom condominium and despite paying ABSD of 60000 they will have had a net gain of at least 50000 without taking into consideration any potential capital gain. In conclusion, while renting may seem like the safer and more convenient option, it also means continually paying high rental costs with no return on investment. On the other hand, buying a property may seem risky due to the high property prices, interest rates, and also the high additional buyer's stamp duties imposed on permanent residents. However, when you select the right property, it will provide an opportunity to safely build capital and the chance to benefit from potential capital gain. Everyone's situation is unique though, so click on the link in the description below to start a conversation with your favourite realtor, who will analyse and calculate whether it makes sense for you to rent or buy. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button or share this with someone who may find this useful. I'll see you soon. Bye!